you can't really understand what flying is like and what flying is like in a jet until you've done it. And it is something. Looking around at the clouds, looking around just at the world below and pulling some crazy maneuvers. It, I remember being up there and the whole time I was just speechless. General Brown, he has said this in multiple open forums, public forums, while he's speaking and talking about um, his experience. And he mentioned his own jet orientation flight. He had gotten an Air Force ROTC scholarship out of high school with the intent of coming on active duty as a civil engineer officer, serving four years, and going back home to Texas. Up until one moment in time when he got a jet orientation ride, and he will tell you in his words, that that one flight changed his life. Ever since I was a kid, I always dreamed up being a pilot and that took me down a path. Um, and I, I felt very shaky about military service. I didn't feel like I had the confidence for it, but I faced some challenges down and I found out that I did have the confidence for it and I could do it. And I've just been running with that ever since. Although the flight is, is the incentive, it's actually an introduction to the operational side of the mission from an Air Force perspective and from that air-mindedness perspective and what does it mean to be an airman, what better way to know what it means to be an airman than to actually have experienced something in the air? Everything that I've learned at this point in my own experience has taught me if someone's struggling, it is your obligation to go help them and share your knowledge. But at the same time, balancing that with, you can't always just give them the answer because they need to think, that's what we need as the Air Force already sees as future leaders, we have to have people that can figure out the answer. I'm not creating a super cadet. I'm actually creating second lieutenants who our nation expects to fight and win our nation's wars. When their time comes and we want to deliberately develop them so that as they come on active duty as second lieutenants, that they already have a sense of what it means to be a part of the profession of arms. If they can get some of that exposure now, when it matters the most, it won't be the first time they've ever seen it.